Shadow of Judgment. Hello, Earth Signs. You're fucking last. Surprise. <laughs> Welcome to your Shadow of Judgment. For anybody new to this little reading I do, I do this every week. I look at what's dark, what's in the subconscious, what you don't know, what's in the background, what your shadow side looks like. You know, anything that might pop up within the week that you might want a heads up on or you need, like, maybe an idea about. Stuff just like that. This is going to be for Earth signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. It might resonate with you. Might not. You could be a cross watcher dealing with it too. If this reading resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Please don't go in on me. For the love of God. Don't drag me. Because I will drag you. Okay? Let's be fair. Alright. Taurus, you're first. We got Capricorn's card. Or your card, or Virgo's card as well, but usually Capricorn. Um, somebody's really demanding, probably an unfaithful spouse, expects more than they give, complains all the time, just ugh. And a burden. Mm. It's getting close to ending though. You're almost at the end of the finish line with that burden. Let's see. Ah, you might not be feeling like a victor. This person might not want to actually communicate with you. Um, this whole burden thing makes you feel like you're left out in the cold. And the person who might be... I almost feel like it's an enemy in your house, but if not, these people who come against you have left you feeling a little bit harsh, bitter, uh, cutthroat with words... Yee, and like maybe things just didn't end the way you were expecting them to with this person and you were left with a lot of heartbreak even though you still wanted to offer your cup up okay so this person's being a tad bit selfish they aren't trying to communicate might be a little bit being a little bit arrogant and they're just leaving things open-ended like the cycle you know there's a kink in the gears so it's like kind of hitting the same shit and just rotating in the same positions, right? Um, you might feel like there is someone who came against you or people came against you that left you a little bit bitter even though you wanted to offer your cup in the situation or you wanted this person to offer your cup. You just didn't realize that they were like that or people just made you like that. And you're done with feeling like you need to be in petty squabbles and shit, you know? And over here, it's like you're burdened by being left out in the cold because you really, really, really love this person and you wanted that cup. Okay, I'm gonna draw one more just to see what the connection between those two is. Yeah, you guys separated. That's sad. I'm sorry, Taurus. Oh man, I hate leaving. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. I'm at least look at what would be the good things to come for you. I'll at least be nice. Oh, there you are with your commitment, setting rules, getting people organized. You might still have some emotions about this shit, but um, it, 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 whatever would have been delivered is just kind of like, uh, nah, I'm good. Because, you know, it, it's not going to lead to anything that's going to be fruitful. It's actually going to leave you bare and very, very um, insecure about what it was that you thought was a foundation. That's your shadow of judgment, Taurus. Now we move on to Virgo. Virgo, your shadow of judgment, my loves. What do you got? Hmm? What's you, what's you, what's you got? What's you got? What's going on, Virgo? Oh, the, some unfairness, but you know, like, I, you know, you know, my mom's a Virgo. My dad's a Libra. <laughs> And the one thing I learned from those two signs is that fairness does not play at all with justice. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. And there might be a new start right here. Let's see. This is interesting. Wheel of Fortune turning on this unfairness going on right now. Like, someone has right in their pocket so people are just overlooking the fact that they might need stuff and giving something to somebody else and the wheels turning on that there's commitment here somewhere possibly with Taurus and this new start is not being communicated or it's being held back for some reason 
I feel like you might be in a relationship that might not be good for you, Virgo. But, but yeah, wish fulfillment that came with hubris. Um, this person who you might be committed to or whatever, they might be taken off from you. Because um, things just didn't work out. Things didn't work out. You got your defenses up. Let's pull one more. Just to be safe. Yeah. And this person right here is just he, he, triggered in their timbers. Man, just trigger me timbers. <laughs> Alright. Virgo. What I got for you, right? This person, or it could be a Capricorn or just somebody you're dealing with, you might be over top of them. Because there's a pair in this card and a pair in this card, right? But it's like they take their pairs and they take on a boat and go because their mind is just... Right? It's just they got too much anxiety. They got too many worries. They got too much shit on their brain. Now, there could be something that could start here, but since it's not communicated, the start isn't going to work out because someone's got their guard up. And because they got their guard up, I don't think that they see that they're giving to the wrong person. And they will get what they wished for. But whoever or whatever this is. Could be Libra, of course. But whoever is giving to the wrong person, the wheel's going to turn. They are going to get their wish, but the hubris is that they're going to be on guard. They're going to be paranoid. They're going to be like, hmm. That's not good for you, Virgo. I don't know who it is you're dealing with, but it's like... They got you anxious, and they got you paranoid. You know, like... You feel like a separation's coming after a long period of time. But that is your shadow judgment. Capricorn, your very last one, and I am excited to do it because then I am done with readings for the day. I'm going to go play Dark Souls 2 and be happy. Because I am that kind of loser. So let's see what's going on with your shadow of judgment, Capricorn. What's going on with your shadow? You have decided that a fantasy world is no good for you, and you're just better off not dealing with the shit. Like, you're just like, you know what, I'm not even paying I'm not looking at it. Not looking at it, so it doesn't exist. <laughs> Which I have to say, we do that a lot. Especially with people. It's just like, if I don't look at you, you don't exist. I have to say, as a Capricorn, can I just put this out here? I hate, absolutely hate it when strangers want to just come up and be like, hello? And then ha try to have a conversation. Like, I know, that's how you're supposed to get to know people, but it's just kind of like they do it at the most inappropriate times. Like, how are you doing today? I had a wonderful day. Then the weather's hot. I just kind of wish I would have put the odor in between my thighs so, you know, it wouldn't stick so much. And, you know, I could be sitting there like, I'm trying to use the bathroom in peace. Thanks, Mom. You know, well, my mom wouldn't do that. She'd probably tell me to, like, go somewhere because I'd probably be sitting there watching her do her hair. Mm. You want to start something, but it's like you're not starting anything for a world that you don't have really any creational value in. Um, you'd ra yeah, you'd rather just be on your own. And you're not, yeah. This is Caps. You're having the exact same thing Libra did last week, which is this is the exact same shit but different. Like you're not worried about anything, and you're not trying to give your cup out. You have decided not to, like, worry about anything, including this, um, new adventure, because you're happy by yourself. In both scenarios, you're not given to anything. You're keeping to yourself. But there's this new start here. But I think it's based on something unfair. Um, she's got the eighth pentacle, but if she were, I think if you were to invest this eighth pentacle into this shit... You wouldn't know exactly what's going on. Like seven, eight, and then six, seven, and then eight with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like, with this brand new beginning, it's like you recognize that, um, with the seventh pentacle, if you invest in it, it's not going to work. It's like doing negatives, right? You got a positive pentacle, then you got negative seven, boom, now it's negative six. What are you going to do? Didn't work out very well. Um, separation, the lovers. You didn't offer your cup up to somebody who you are no longer with. 
you are thinking about the fact that none of this shit is fair for this new beginning too. So like you turn your back, you turn your face to it, like you know, snubbed your nose to it. Like no, I'm not. I'm not even going for that. No. Like I feel like you decided to do that because you know it's a bad investment. Yeah, but but it's like you're still waiting. What the fuck are you waiting for? And Leo, this card. I better not be. Uh, Caps, you've definitely decided not to invest that eighth pentacle in some bad, bad stuff. However, I think you're waiting to see what the results are. You are trying to recover from the start of unfairness. Because I'm not sure what this new beginning is right here, but it's like you don't want it. Either way, you do not want to deal with this bullshit. You're trying to recover from it. Keep your strength up. You might be dealing with a Leo, too. But it's like you're very happy being by yourself. You're not worried about giving your cup up. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you're letting love die. You're, you're just letting a separation happen. Now I'm all confused. Okay, all these card readings are fucking crazy. I swear. Just so many emotions. <laughs> You feel like there was some kind of battle you were supposed to fight, but I feel like you didn't. Um, instead, you just connected to your own spirituality. You just... This person was standing there waiting for you to fight under a volcano that was erupting, and you were just like, you know what, I'm not! I'm just gonna go to the river and talk to my spirit friend. Mr. Manhattan. Mr. Manhattan isn't gonna try to get me under a volcano to die in a stupid battle with peggle sticks or whatever they're called. Um, you might not be letting your emotions be known, and it's causing you to maybe look a little bit like, mm, a dick, like a control freak or something like that, but in reality, you are doing pretty fancy. You're getting a wish fulfillment right here, Caps. So that's surprising, but that's your shadow of judgment, and I'm like, like, everybody's dealing with some bullshit today. I don't know. Anyway... That's the reading, y'all. If you want a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take um, do tips and donations. I'm not going to be doing personal readings for the next week and a half because I have to work, like, a lot of hours. Because I work doubles, and my boss added extra days to me, so it's like, I'm not going to have the energy. I'm sorry. However, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching my video. And you guys, take care of yourselves. Love you. Mwah! Bye-bye.